Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Verge Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the Uptown Mark Bag, which is a fairly fun market bag to work. It has rounds of fun bobble stitch texture interspersed between double crochet mesh. The bag is worked all as one piece from the bottom up to through the top, which is worked as a continuous handle. The free written pattern can be found on my website, ridgetexturescrochet.com. There's a direct link for you down there in the video. This is the third market bag in the marvelous market bag crochet along. If you're following along, happy to see you. And if you haven't already, check out the first two bags in this crochet along, and there will be two more to follow after this one. For our pattern today, you're going to need some worsted weight, 100% cotton yarn, I'm using the Pima Cotton by Lion Brand. You can see it here in the uh, blue print color as well as the vintage color. You're going to need about one and a half balls of your color A. Um, each of these balls has 186 yards in it. And then you're just going to need one for uh, your secondary color, your color B. You're also going to need a five millimeter crochet hook. Again, links to these can be found in the description of this video. And uh, thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around, and uh, check out some of those other market bag patterns. For our bag today, we're going to start by working down at the bottom using our color A. I'm going to be using this vintage color. Uh, you're going to start, the bag is worked in rounds. So we're going to start by making a slip knot. And here you may use a magic ring if you'd prefer. Or what I'm going to do today is chain four. And your chain four is going to count as a double crochet for the first chain three. And then this is going to be our center. We're going to be working into the fourth chain from our hook. So into the fourth chain from your hook, you're going to work 11 double crochet stitches. Including that starting chain three, which counts as a stitch, you'll have 12 double crochet stitches in total. There's 10 and 11 double crochet. So including that starting chain three, we should have a total of 12. Once you have your 11 double crochet and your chain three, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that starting chain three. For round two, you're going to chain three, this counts as a double crochet stitch, and work a double crochet back into the same stitch as joining. You're then going to work two double crochet stitches into each stitch all the way around. At the end of this round, you can join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch, your chain three, and at the end of this round, you'll have a total of 24 double crochet stitches. At the end of round two, you're joining with a slip stitch into your first stitch and chain three. For round three, we're going to skip the stitch the same stitch is joining because we have our chain three coming out. It's going to count as a double crochet. You're then going to work two double crochets into the next stitch. Next, double crochet into the next stitch and work two double crochets into the next stitch. 
You're going to repeat that all the way around. One double crochet into the next stitch, followed by two double crochets into the next stitch. All the way around, when you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of this round, you'll have a total of 36 double crochet stitches. For round four, we're going to chain three and double crochet into the next stitch. Your chain three counts as a stitch. You're then going to work two double crochet stitches into your next stitch. Next, work one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. And then work two double crochet stitches in your next stitch. You're going to repeat this all the way around, one double crochet into each of the next two stitches, followed by two double crochets into your next stitch. When you come all the way around, join with a slip stitch in the top of your first stitch, and at the end of this round, you'll have a total of 48 stitches. For round five, we're going to chain three, which counts as a double crochet, and double crochet in each of the next two stitches. Work two double crochets into the next stitch. You're now going to work one double crochet into each of the next three stitches. Followed by two double crochet stitches into the next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way around one double crochet into each of the next three stitches. followed by two double crochets into the next stitch. When you come all the way around, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of this round, you'll have a total of 60 stitches. For round six, we're going to chain three, double crochet into each of the next three stitches, and then work two double crochets into the next stitch. Next, work one double crochet into each of the next four stitches. and two double crochet into the next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way around one double crochet into each of the next four stitches, and two double crochet into your next stitch. When you come all the way around, join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. For round seven, chain three, double crochet into each of the next four stitches, and work two double crochet into your next stitch. Next, work one double crochet into each of the next five stitches, and 
and two double crochet into your next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way around one double crochet into each of the next five stitches. Followed by two double crochet into your next stitch. All the way around when you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. And at the end of this round, we'll have a total of 84 stitches. For round eight, we're going to chain three and work one double crochet into each of the next five stitches. Work two double crochet into your next stitch. Next, we're going to work one double crochet into each of the next six stitches. Followed by two double crochet stitches into your next stitch once I get the knot out of my yarn. <laughs> there we go. So two double crochets into your next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way around one double crochet into each of the next six stitches. Followed by two double crochets into the next stitch, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch, and at the end of this round you'll have a total of 96 stitches. For round 9, you're going to chain 3, work one double crochet into each of the next 6 stitches. and two double crochets into the next stitch. Next you're going to work one double crochet into each of the next seven stitches. and then two double crochets into your next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way around. One double crochet into each of the next seven stitches followed by two double crochets into the next stitch. At the end of this round you're going to have a total of 108 stitches. For round 10, chain three double crochet into each of the next seven stitches. And work two double crochets into your next stitch. Next, double crochet into each of the eight next eight stitches. And 
and work two double crochet into your next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way around one double crochet into each of the next eight stitches, followed by two double crochet stitches into your next stitch until you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. And at the end of this round, you're going to have a total of 120 stitches. At the end of your round 10, you're going to have a fairly large circle completed. You're going to have a total of 120 stitches. Now for rounds 11, 12, and 13, so for three rounds, you're going to chain one and simply work a single crochet into the same stitches joining and then into each stitch all the way around. When you come to your first stitch, join with the slip stitch in that first stitch, chain one and repeat. So go ahead, work three rounds of single crochet stitches that will bring you to the end of your round 13 and then meet me back here. At the end of round 13, this is what your market bag will look like from the top, uh, from the bottom up through to the end of round 13, which is your final round of single crochet stitches. What we're going to do is we're now going to start working the sides of our bag. Round one of your bag side, we're going to continue working with our color A and chain one. You're then going to simply work a half double crochet into the first stitch and then half double crochet into each stitch all the way around. When you come back to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of round one of your bag sides, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of the first stitch. Now for round two, we're going to chain one. We're now going to be working in the third loop of each stitch all the way around. We're going to be working a half double crochet into the third loop. So what we're going to do is yarn over, pull your work so you can see the back of your stitch. And when you look at the back of your stitch, you have a loop coming along the top, which is your back loop only. And then right underneath of it, you have another loop that runs alongside underneath. And you're going to insert your hook under that loop only. So I'll just show you where that one is again. You're going to yarn over at the back of your stitch. There is this loop that runs under your back loop. Insert your hook under that third loop and finish your half double crochet. So work a half double crochet in the third loop of each stitch all the way around and then join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of round two, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of the first stitch. Now, and up until now, we've just been working always in one direction and uh, we've never turned our work, but at the beginning and end of each of the bobble stitch rounds, which we're going to work now, we are going to chain one and turn our work. Now for round three, we're going to work our first bobble stitch round and we want to make sure our work is turned so that our bobble stitch pops out on the front side of our work. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by single crocheting in the first stitch and then by working a bobble stitch into your next stitch. To work your bobble stitch, you're going to yarn over insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops and you're going to do that a total of five times. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. You're then going to have six loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all six loops. 
You're then going to bring your hook down and work a single crochet into each of the next three stitches. When you work that first single crochet, it's going to cause your bobble stitch to pop out on the other side. So you've worked one single crochet in each of the next three stitches, you're going to work a bobble stitch in the next. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two. Do that a total of five times. Once you have six loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all six loops and single crochet into each of the next three stitches. You're going to do that until you have only two stitches remaining. So repeat, bobble stitch, one single crochet in each of the next three stitches all the way around until you have two stitches remaining. At the end of round three you'll come around and you'll have two stitches remaining. You're going to single crochet into each of those final two stitches and then join with a slip stitch into the first stitch. You're then going to chain one and once again turn your work. Your bobble should be now on the front side facing you. For round four we're going to half double crochet into the first stitch and then half double crochet into each stitch all the way around and that's including your bobble stitches so just simply half double crochet into the top of that bobble stitch and keep on going when you come to your first stitch join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch Once you come all the way around at the end of round four, you've joined with a slip stitch into the first stitch. For round five, we're going to chain one, and then once again, working in our third loops only, we're going to work one half double crochet stitch in the third loop of each stitch all the way around. When you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of round five, join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. For round six of the bag sides, we're going to chain four, and this is going to count as a double crochet and a chain one. You're then going to skip the next stitch and double crochet into the next. Chain one, skip the next stitch, and double crochet into the next. You're going to repeat this all the way around. Chain one, skip the next stitch, double crochet into the next. Chain one, skip one, and double crochet. All the way around and you'll end with a chain one and then you'll join in the third stitch of that starting chain four. At the end of round six, you've chained one, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the third chain of that starting chain four. For round seven, we're going to chain one, half double crochet into the same stitch as joining, and then half double crochet into the chain one space half double crochet into the next stitch and half double crochet into the next chain one space. You're going to repeat this all the way around working a half double crochet into each stitch and chain one space and then uh, join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. At the end of this round we will be switching to our color B and I'll show you how I like to do that when I come around. So at the end of round seven, we're going to switch to our color B. You can either 
uh, simply just join and fasten off and then add your color B with a slip stitch or today what I'm going to do is I'm going to work my final stitch in my color A so I'm going to yarn over insert my hook into that chain one space yarn over and drop a loop then instead of completing the stitch in my color A I'm going to pick up the color B put it on my hook and pull through I'm then going to join with a slip stitch into the first stitch you're all set then to continue working with your color B uh, at this time you can fasten off your color A for round 8 with color B we're going to chain 1 and once again working in the third loop we're going to work a half double crochet into each stitch all the way around so once again we're working in that third loop half double crochet in each stitch all the way around when you come around join with a slip stitch into the top of the first stitch at the end of round eight you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch and this brings us to the start of the repeat in the pattern so what you're going to do from here on and you may for the bag sides you may want to grab a hold of the free written pattern on, on richtexturescrochet.com uh, but for rounds 9 through to 15 you're going to repeat rounds 2 to 8 so round 2 began, began with the half double crochet in the third loop of each stitch all the way around you're going to be working in your color B so repeat rounds two through to eight then you're going to switch back to your color a for rounds 16 through to 22 you're going to repeat rounds two to eight with your color a and then switch back to color b for rounds 22 through to 28 and work rounds uh, repeat rounds two to seven once more with your color b at the end of round seven your repeat of round seven you're going to switch back to your color a so at that point at the end of round 28 you can meet me back here and we're going to work the top of the bag together at the end of round 28 this is what your bag is going to look like from the back bottom up through to the top you'll have two uh, stripes of your color B and two of your color A at the end of round 28 you've joined rejoined your color A uh, and the and have fastened off your color B for round 29 with your color A you're going to chain one and then half double crochet working in the third loop once again of each stitch all the way around so half double crochet in the third loop each stitch all the way around when you come to your first stitch join with a slip stitch into your first stitch at the end of round 29 you've joined with a slip stitch into your first stitch you're now ready to begin working the bag handles for round one of the bag handles we're going to chain one and you're going to start by working a single crochet into the same stitch as joining we're then going to work in the back loop only or in the third loop only sorry and we're going to work a single crochet in each of the next 28 stitches so working in the third loop only single crochet into each of the next 28 stitches There's 10. And 20. 
20. Seven and 28. Then working under both loops only, uh, both loops of the next stitch, you're going to work a single crochet into the next stitch, so into the top of the stitch. You're then going to work a chain to form your handles. For my handles, I'm going to chain 40, but if you would like to change the size of your handles, you can work more or less chains. Just be sure to make note of it so that you can uh, work the same for the other side. And 40. Uh, also one more thing to note when you're working this chain you want to keep it fairly loose because you will be working into it later on. On your bag next you're going to count and skip 30 stitches. You're then going to single crochet into the top of the next stitch, being careful not to twist your chain. Next, working in the third loop, once again, you're going to single crochet in each of the next 28 stitches. There's 10, 20. And 28. Then in the top of the next stitch, so working under both loops, single crochet into the next stitch. You're then go once again going to chain 40 to form your other handle. And 40. Skip the remaining chains or the remaining stitches. And once again, without twisting your chain, you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. That brings you to the end of the first round for your handles. For round two, three, four, five, and six, so for the next five rounds, you're going to chain one and then single crochet into each stitch and that's including each chain stitch all the way around. When you come to your first stitch you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch, chain one and continue. 
So you're going to go ahead, work five rounds of single crochet stitches into each stitch, which includes each chain stitch, join with a slip stitch in the first stitch, chain one, and repeat. At the end of your round six, for the top of your bag, you're going to fasten off, weave in your ends, and that is the end, it brings you to the end of your Uptown Market Bag. So thank you so much for joining me once again. I invite you to subscribe, take a look around, and I look forward to seeing you in again next time. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.